When I woke up today, I found out that one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Technoblade, has passed away from cancer. If you know my YouTube channel, you know that I have taken a lot of inspiration from him, and it's actually the reason I started doing Hypixel Skyblock YouTube videos at all. And um, he's been a really great YouTuber, and I really do love him. So I decided to clip together some of my favorite memories from Technoblade's YouTube channel, and we can all watch together and think about him. Just got in a set of superior armor and wanted hot potato books to upgrade it. I could have just bought some from the auction like a normal person, but if Hypixel has taught me anything, it's that if you have a problem, the answer is slavery. But after a few days, I ran out of hamster wheels, and I had to resort to my final weapon. The Catalyst. The Catalyst is the strongest fuel source in the game, tripling your minion output, but they only last for three hours. Fortunately, I had a couple. I don't make hot potato books, I make hot potato libraries. So every day I sold hot potato books, and then I bought more crystals. And then I sold more hot potato books, and then I bought more crystals. And that's the story of how I made infinite money. Well, not really, because you can only use so many per day, but I made a lot, and now... I was ranked three in potatoes. Only 18 minion slots, this this is just sad. I've seen Irish famines with more potatoes than this farm. Who called the police? Whitelisted, are you Squid Kids all? No, I just AFK here a lot as a hobby. I'm so suspicious, he doesn't believe me at all. I'm getting banned. Okay, let me get my, my screenshots. I gotta be careful, man. The snitches be everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna go AFK now. Just act natural. Just <laughs> and I'm gone. Also, I'm deeply scared of him. Did you see what he said when I told him the names? Names noted. That is serial killer talk. We ain't gonna be hearing from those two guys ever again. Poor fool had no idea what was coming. Has it updated? It hasn't updated. All right, I'm going to the hub. Has it updated? <laughs> Now, when I made the Great Potato War, some people criticized me for violating Sun Tzu's most basic tenet. Whatever you do, don't reveal all your techniques in a YouTube video. You fool. You moron. I've seen a new sign on Squid's Island advertising his new guild. So I did what any normal person would do and bought another alt account, and then I infiltrated the guild. Flycatcher is an upgrade which increased minion speed by 10%, 5% more than the minion expanders I was currently using. Oh, but Technoblade, that sounds great. Wrong. You would not believe. How difficult it is to make a flycatcher. First you need a fly swatter which drops from less than 1% of high level tarantula bosses. And then you need over 10 million coins worth of tarantula silk. To give you guys a quick visual of how many materials we're gonna need, we're gonna need uh, some of this, uh, a, little, a little bit of this too, uh, some of this, uh, some of that, some of these, and uh, a little bit of that. And uh, if we combine all of that together, we can make one flycatcher. I need 24 of these! Remember when I flexed on all of you with my chest full of catalysts? Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I was holding back. Skeleton horse can trample crops on other people's islands. <laughs> Just kidding. I'd never do something like that. Because I'm a good person. For the next part of my plan, I went to Pigacle. Yeah, this is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> You just rob it and sell it. I'll just be taking this. Oh, this is good. I've been pretty broke recently. If you're wondering why I borrowed one of the strongest weapons in the game, it's because the Reaper Scythe has an ability that's crucial for farming potatoes. Now that I had it, I could finally... Hey, Squid. Notice anything about your minions lately? Yeah. <laughs> is he really planting potatoes too? We're gonna go check. But this dude has a mental illness. As time went on, you could begin to hear the hope draining from his voice. One last thing I'd like to mention, while I was stalking Squid on my alt, the entire lobby was just piling on him in the chat. They were just hating on him. You see, after the first Potato War video, Squid got 40,000 subscribers in the YouTube rank, and ever since then he's been getting hate because, oh my god, he just got YouTube rank because of Technoblade, it's all luck, he sucks. I'd just like to take a moment to defend 
defend Squid Kid and say it's not all luck. I mean, luck was obviously a big factor. Nobody's denying that. But the thing is, most opportunities are created by luck. It takes skill to grasp those opportunities and turn it into success. The original Potato War video would have been so much less funny if Squid wasn't number one and it was just some random boring guy. Now I talk to Squid afterwards. He's an adult. He doesn't care at all, but I care, all right? So if you see Squid in a lobby, say something nice to him. Compliment his hair or something. Because he's been dealing with cringe hate for too long, man. We gotta help him. So, hypothetically speaking, if someone went to their island with their level 100 rabbit when someone was already there with the level 1 one, they wouldn't get their rabbit's 30% boost. They'd get the level 1 0.3% boost. Unrelated fun fact, did you know that Squid Kid's Island is still open to visitors? Yeah, that's right. We're doing this again. So I bought a new Minecraft account, slapped a level 1 legendary rabbit pet onto it, and shipped it off to Squid Kid's AFK. I'm pretty sure I lost a few fans over the rabbit pet because everyone would just be hanging out. They'd just be chilling on my island with their level 30 rabbits activated. And I'd come see that and I don't care if it's intentional or not. They're sabotaging my potatoes so I'd kick them out of my island to get priority back. And then they'd come back 10 seconds later like, Why did you kick me, Technoblade? I just wanted to meet my favorite YouTuber. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa, relax, dude, relax. It's not a big deal. I, I have a really good reason. I, I just, I can't tell you because it's a secret. And they'd go like, it's okay, Technoblade. I, I know the reason. It's because you hate me specifically. I'll just go leave forever now. And I'm like, wait. Come back, no! You ever noticed how my island has been open to visitors during the potato war? In the last video I explained, I made an AFK machine on my island so planted potatoes would keep growing even when I wasn't online. I was actually using an advanced technique there called lion. So basically someone dumping a ton of rookie axes into your hopper system is the worst thing someone can do to you in Skyblock. Now I've always been interested in psychology, in fact I almost majored in it, so after six months of stalking Squid Kid, I developed a bit of a psychological profile of this man. I know how he talks, I know how he thinks. And when I saw this tweet, I instantly knew that this man was lying. Now don't get me wrong, I completely believe that somebody dropped rookie axes into his hopper system, because it was me. But that's not the real reason he closed his island. After all, I'd been dropping rookie axes into his hoppers for weeks, but he sent that tweet eight minutes after he kicked my alt. So I get to thinking, why would Squid lie about that? And I realize Squid knows I monitor his tweets, but what he doesn't know is that that was my alt account. From his perspective, that could have been some random guy with a rabbit, and if that was the case, I'd have no idea rabbits could be used that way. As such, him lying in that tweet could only mean one thing. He's about to sabotage me! So I held a stake out on my island, and guess what I found a few hours later? A brand new Skyblock account afk with a level 1 legendary rabbit. Truthfully, I could have stopped Squid before he even joined my island, but I wanted to catch him in the act because I'm always getting comments saying, Oh my god, Technoblade, why are you so mean to Squid? They don't understand. This is war. There's no holding back. I know that, and Squid knows that. The only difference is that I'm 20 steps ahead. He's playing Skyblock while I'm playing Death Note. He thinks he can outsmart me with my own strategies because he is yet to realize that he is but a puppet, and I, the puppeteer, dance! Potato Boy, dance! <sighs> So anyways, I got on my secret alt account and then sent his secret alt account a party invitation. And then I DM'd him on Discord, yo dude, accept my invite. Well, this is awkward. If I wanted to farm more potatoes, I'd have to start farming pumpkins. But wait a minute, Technoblade, that's the wrong vegetable. Wait. What do you mean it's a fruit? With a 45 million potato lead and a farming method twice as fast as his own, what could possibly go wrong? June 6, things go very wrong. So I was out here with my lab coat on, doing the science, coming up with new, never-before-seen potato farming techniques, and this man just goes, Admins, please, replanting is too hard, and they buff his farming method sixfold. I had to go to the store the other day. I had to interrupt my potato farming because my dad was like, hey, can you go to the store and pick up my medicine? And I was like, can I really tell him that I'm not getting his medicine because I need to farm potatoes? Can I really? Look, I'm an atheist, but... When God sends me to hell, I want him to hesitate, okay? I want him to hesitate for a few seconds. Oh my gosh! He's doing a little emote on me! Oh my, not like this! Come on, was was this necessary? Watch me dance, Squid Kid! You lose! You lose the war! After the war, the admins added a temporary NPC to the Skyblock Hub, the Potato King. It gave out a new talisman which boosted potato minions by 5%, a basket for the top 1,000 potato farmers, and to me, the Potato Crown engraved upon it the words, All men can see the tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. Sun Tzu, the art of war. That NPC is gone now. I took too long to edit this video. I gained a lot from the Potato War. Patience, discipline, 
carpal tunnel. I guess my main regret is that I bribed Squid's Discord admin to give my alt permission to see into his secret text channels, and then he never used them all year. With the war over, Squid took down his potato minions, and my fields have gone unfarmed. While we were enemies, I still respect Squid Kid. I understand now that it is only with a worthy rival that one can reach their fullest potential. While he may have lost the war, he's gone from 70 subscribers to having tens of thousands of fans, so it can't be said that he's lost completely. For my part, I've realized now that rank number one isn't an achievement. It's a prison, which forces you to dedicate your life to defending a temporary title. But now, with the war finally over, I'm free.